We get the six foot distance. Is this six feet? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're good? We're good? We're good? Yep. Okay. Minnie, we good? We're good. Let's get rid of the stick. Uh, Woo! Hey, everybody. It's Friday, I think. And it's noon, right? right. So what does that mean? It's time, it's time for Festool Live. Hey, everybody. Happy Festool Friday from the live crew. And who is the live crew? Right over here, we got Big D. Hey, On the camera, we got Chris the Unit Cybert. Over here, we got Minnie Gleb. Right here, we have Sparky. Sparky's nervous like me today. Online, <laughs> superhero. Online, we have Brent Shively from the Build with Brent series. He's answering all your questions. That series can be found on YouTube, as well as this series, which is number 93 of Festool Live. Can't believe it. Seven away from syndication. Woo! I learned something new every day. Okay. Also, it's going to live on Facebook and Instagram. So whatever platform you like, thank you for watching Festool Live. We also are really stoked because we are getting ready to do episode 16 or 17 next week in Texas. So we're excited about that. Of what? Festool Shop Talk. So we're really excited about that. Uh, make sure you check those out. They're also on Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, but you can also catch them on YouTube if you want to see the person we're interviewing. It's a lot of fun. We've learned a lot with that. And in saying all of that, it's time for Festool Live. So I think Big D put it on the Festool underscore USA uh, Instagram account. Uh, a couple of people have reached out to us already about different sanders. Today's episode is about the DTS 400, which is this one, okay, and the RTS 400, which is this one. And over the years, people have asked, what's the difference? They look the same. So are the pads interchangeable? That would be no, <laughs> okay? They are the same motors. Uh, two millimeter stroke, okay, and they're an orbital sander. Okay, and in saying that, I forget what episode it is. I think it's in the first five episodes, how to choose the right sander. Okay, I talked a lot about all the different sanders, and I categorized them. Come over here to the whiteboard, Chris. <clears throat> right here, we have the different orbits that we have in our arsenal, okay, where this is what an orbital does. You know it. It's a vibrating sander. It's kind of like a quarter sheet or half sheet sander. You've had those over the years, right? That is what an orbital does. It's a what? It's a. It's not a rapid stock removal sander. Okay, it's more of a finishing sander. And then we have random orbit, which is an orbital, but it also spins. Then we have a rotex sander, which is a random orbit pattern, but it's also a geared random orbit because we throw a pin in here, and you can hear it. Look, there's your uh, random orbit, right? But we throw that pin and now it's a geared random orbit. If you've never used a Rotex sander, I implore you, I beg you, go try one somewhere because that is the one all beat all sander that we have in the Festool lineup. You have random orbit and you have a really aggressive, almost like belt sander quality, but without the striation pattern. So that's Rotex. Then we have linear sanders. Oh, wait a minute. We no longer have linear sanders, do we? We just discontinued them. Okay, so I'll get rid of that. The only linear sander we have is what? Our hand sanding blocks. <laughs> okay. And then we have what is known as a rotary, and that's a constant spinning. And I used to say, <laughs> and this is difficult because we would have a RAS that got discontinued, but we would have the pl regular plane X and the plane X EZ. Those are both what? Rotary. But then with the Planex 2.0, we now have a random orbit drywall sander, and it is phenomenal. Okay, so I just wanted to go through that with you so you understand what the DTS and RTS orbits are. Okay, so I'm going to go right to my RTS here, and I want to explain something because, and I'm going to use the white, and I'm going to use the whiteboard over here so many can get this for more names. Don't forget to tell us where you're from. You're welcome. So, this was my first sander that I bought from Festool in 2004. Actually, it was the RS400. Okay, and I'm going to tell you right now, no one showed me. I went into a dealer down in Fort Lauderdale, and I bought it because I thought, oh, it's like a quarter sheet sander, but there was something about it I liked, and I'll tell you that in a minute. 
I should have been shown and I should have purchased this one. And in about five minutes, I'll show you why. So I'm going to leave that right there. The DTS sander is what a cabinet maker should own. Okay. Now, the other thing I'm going to tell you, when somebody asked here at Festool or during a training or out on the road, if they would say, what's your favorite sander? I'd go, I'd point it right over, RO150. That's the Rotex 150. My second favorite sander in the Festool lineup is the DTS 400. And you're going to see why in just a few minutes. <laughs> okay. So what attracted me to the RTS 400 was this. Velcro. I called it Velcro. Okay. This is not Velcro. It's a hook. That's the loop. Velcro is a trade name from a company. Okay. And if you look at Velcro, if you rake a light on a Velcro pad, look, it all goes one way, a hook and loop pad. That's how it's manufactured. So when you put a piece of paper on there, okay, it locks this way, but it shifts this way. So if you have a little bit of shift in there, you could take that two millimeter stroke and put a piece of paper on that hook or that Velcro and it kind of stands still. You don't get the efficiency of the motor. And I know that because I used a hook and loop on a triangular pad once and I turned it off. I was more efficient using it by hand because it didn't move the grit of the paper. This is your tool. Always remember, this is your tool. You have to choose the right machine to move the tool. So when you read in our catalog, you see online globally and you see stick fix hook and loop, that is a trademark of Festool. Tool Technic Systems, and it's because we developed our own hook system where instead of going one direction, they go multiple directions, and that is why when you lock on a piece of paper to a Festool sander, it stays there. It's really, really tough to get off, and if we had tougher vision, you'd see that. Okay, so I'm going to put that on, and now because there's no shifting of the paper on those hooks, guess what? You could take the efficiency of the Festool motor and bring it down to the tool. Woo! That's all I have to say about that. Now, the most important part of today's live. Move, Chris. I got to bring this over to Minnie. Minnie, is it okay if I leave my stuff on there? You can erase it. You guys have been telling us where you're from so much. Minnie needs two whiteboards. Whoop, 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 whoop. Did I, hey, did I tell you we love you? Thank you. How's that, Minnie? Good? Okay, so. <sighs> RTS 400, open areas. DTS 400, enclosed areas, up against it when you're standing up against adjacent surfaces. Somebody would always ask, what type of sander is that? It looks like an iron. I've heard that a hundred times. It's the pad itself, and I'll show you a killer example. If you look at it, see how it's taped up like this? So this becomes a single point of contact as you put it up against the adjacent surface. Now, over the years, we've come out with these. We call them protectors, okay? And they slide right on here like this, okay? And they snap on. And that gets you very close to the surface, but it's not as close as the pad. And we have them for the ITS as well, okay? But it doesn't get you as close because that's your standoff. So the best way to do this is show you the example and i'm just going to draw this like this oh, let me get the paper on here let me line it up correctly always find two holes and it lines up nicely okay you're gonna and i'm just gonna draw this out all the way and somebody will say this is a detail sander yes because you have this point here so i'm gonna try this i'm gonna grab my ats 400 hook it up like this Bring it in. <laughs> oh, you guys want to hear an inside running joke at Festool Life? The boys and many always ask Sedge, how long is this going to last? I go, ah, it's on two sanders, about five minutes. <laughs> I think we're already at 10, Big D. <laughs> Man, can that guy talk, huh? Okay, I'm just going to draw this for you. Look. I got some glue squeeze out. I got to clean up an area inside a cabinet. I didn't sand all my panels flat. So I need to get up against that adjacent surface, right? 
One thing you should always do, and let's talk about Festool sanding. I have it all the way up here like this. That kind of sticks. But if I turn it down, it starts to float. Okay? So I always turn that down. It helps eliminate one of the things that causes swirl max. Okay. If I take this pad and bring it up against that adjacent surface, that's miring the adjacent surface. Follow? And it's bumping around. Well, the DTS is for adjacent surface sanding. You can get close with the protector on both of them, but I always finish up an inside corner with this. Chris, get in here so everybody can see it. See that right there? And look at that. What did somebody say to me once? That's like an ima that's like a magic eraser. Okay? This is for me in cabinetry doing my final sanding inside boxes, drawer boxes, inside doors like right here. I'll show you. I pulled the doors off the cab. But I wouldn't attempt that with the RTS. I would come right in here and grab it with the DTS. I'll just take it like this. Because I can come in here. I know it's a little loud. But I can get right in there up against that adjacent surface and I'm not going to mire anything. So that's the difference. The main difference. Basically, the, the biggest difference or why someone would choose the RTS over the DTS. So you're asking right now, and I'm almost back there, why the RTS? And I'll show you. You're not sanding a lot of adjacent surfaces. You're sanding your panels flat before finishing. You're not using glue. And this is a great open surface sander. And I'll just turn that on and let it go. See, I don't have to sand up against adjacent surfaces. Just like this. It's beautiful. It works great. And that's why we have the, um, the RTS. Do you need both of them? Well, I always say this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I will always ask, what are you going to be? Are you, gonna, are you a cabinet maker? Are you a furniture builder? Wait a minute. Are you a drywaller? Follow. Well, with the, with the Festool Planex system, right? You always have inside corners. I'm going to come in here. Okay, so you can see this. Chris, you got that? Okay. I can get very close with the Planex 2.0. And also, the Planex EZ, I can get very close. But sometimes my finish-up sander, point-up sander, is the DTS 400. The nice thing is, is we now have the adapter. So I can go right down with the CT36 ACs. Uh, Planex hose, I could put that right on, so I could go from 36 down to 27. The only thing I need is power, <laughs> so I'm going to turn that on. Someone out there is going, but said you have a cordless version. I go, that's correct. Okay, but I just want to put that on, get that good, and get my... So this is a great finish sander for drywall. In fact, I know a lot of professional drywallers that are using the DTS 400. And you'll see, I can get right in that inside corner and not mar that secondary corner. So that's a great sander for drywall. Once again, with the CT36AC, you have that auto clean feature and that abrasive that granite abrasive is going to last a long time because you're not gumming it up so i just wanted to point that out that's another great asset another great application for that sander and i'll probably there's a lot of people out there watching this going that's exactly right because that's what i use for my inside corners Woo! back to the rts i'm almost there i'm going to go back and i'm going to talk about that's available, and here's a little bit of a difference. Okay? With the ITS, we offer interface pads. With the DTS, we do not. What an interface pad is, is the interfaces between the pad and the tool or the paper. Okay? <coughs> you, they come in this box right here, and you'll see it comes in a what? 
two pack. Good. So I, I only do that so many laughs. I'm telling you. See how that interface is like that? And why do you need an interface pad? I think I've mentioned this several times. But say I'm taking this little charcuterie board and I got a little round over here, very slight radius. I don't want flats to appear as I'm sanding this with the harder pad. I will sand this with the regular uh, pad and paper and then finish it up with the same grit, just like this. And you'll see where that doesn't leave any marks and it's absolutely perfect. It's actually a really nice contour pad. See how it just form fits to that? Someone will ask, can I put more than one? Absolutely. Check this out. You put it right on here like this, and you can do two, and you can do really big radiuses with it. So I just thought I'd point that out. That's what an interface pad is, and that is a difference between a DTS and RTS because the DTS doesn't accommodate the uh, interface pads. Cool. Okay. Whew. Wow. <laughs> um, both versions are available in cordless. And that is also important. And the reason I wanted to point it out is you can also get the hybrid battery for this, which goes in here and you can put a plug-it cord on there. There's no battery inside the uh, adapter, but it allows you to use this cordless or corded. And that's a big bogey for some people because sometimes they just want to grab this. They got to go do some knock up, um, point up on some window sills. A painter might want to just do something really quick in a built-in and doesn't want to carry a dust extractor all the way up the stairs, whatever. They can use it cordless, come back down, go to the shop, and have the corded version battery of this. I am going to run over here to see if I have that so you can actually see that. I should have it right here, and I do. So you can see where this is your adapter. Right when you think you have everything set up, <laughs> right? So that comes out, I'm back in the shop, and I get energy all day. Now, when we first came out with the cordless sanders, everybody says, how long does it last on a single charge? And I think in the owner's manual it said 30 minutes, but wasn't saying what grit. I did my own test, and I got about 40 minutes with 120 grit. And for me, that was perfect. Uh, I was I was I sanded for 40 minutes. I had to take the rest of the week off. I don't work that hard. <laughs> okay. Now, the other thing I tested was this. I'm going to take and I want to show you this because I am blown away. There are systems out there, sanding systems other than Festool, that use a canister or a bag, and those for me have never been effective. And then when we came out with this, and before you ask the question, there is a version that you can put on the corded version, which I have right here, okay? It's this bag system, and I want to explain the bag system to you, okay? As I'm sanding, make sure I get this turned all the way up, okay? It's not going to get all the dust, but it's going to get the lion's share of it, right? Okay? It keeps the... It keeps the dust down to a minimum, but as I open it up, okay, check. See that little tab right there? I pull it forward, and it captures the dust, and boy, does it capture the dust. So I'm going to put that out there. I'm going to close it back up, snap it in. There's two tabs here that you press. It goes right back on like this. Pretty easy, right? So check this out. Big D, do you have that? Okay, Chris, get in here. Okay, I'm going to turn it back on. Look at that. It's actually pulling in also from the side. Is that amazing? Look at that. It keeps the pad in, and uh, it keeps the paper clean or the tool. It's, so what's going to happen is you're going to be more productive. So... I'll always suggest hooking up the Festool sander to a dust extractor, and guess what? You still can. So if I wanted just to take that bag off, 
check this out. I can put that like that. I can grab the, the adapter just like this. I have my dust extractor here, right? Okay, I can do this. Whoopsie. There I am, grabbing things too quick. And I'm back in the shop, right? I got the adapter on. I take the plug cord. Remember, with a plug cord, what is it? It's always a full quarter turn. And here I go. And I'm rocking and rolling again. So this cordless drill, I could sand eight hours on the single shots. I'm just kidding. There's no battery cells in there. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. So I wanted to point that out. I'm looking around to see if I covered everything. Yep, I think I covered it. Oh, 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 oh. This is something that gets lost in our system. And wait a minute, did I do that lost in the catalog? I don't think I did. But guess what? I'll do it lost in the catalog for next, in a couple of weeks. This is the Generation 3 sustainer. That's for sandpaper, okay? For every variety of paper we have, whether it's uh, round or square, there's a sustainer for it, 5 inch, 6 inch. But this one's a little bit different, okay? As I open it up, you're going to see where I can put square paper or the Delta paper in there. I always label them of the grits I have, so it's an easy reach. And what this is great for is if you're out on a job site, right? How professional of it does it look? Sorry, Spocky. Stay right there, buddy. Okay? To walk in like this with your dust extractor, your sander, and a bunch of boxes. This looks so much more professional. You get all your paper, and you know what you need to fill it with. And it also works for the, the RTS paper, the DTS paper, but also 5-inch random orbit paper. Okay, and that was a really great accessory for Generation 3. Woo! I think I covered it. So that's what you got to ask yourself when you're trying to choose between a DTS and ITS. What do I sandal the majority of the time? And if you go with that, then you can start. For me, cabinet maker, I'm right in with a DTS. And guess what? I should have bought that, but no one told me about it. And I loved my ITS. Woo! Okay. So... Anything else? That's it, guys? Girls? We're good men? Okay, so, Spocky, do you have any questions? No? So, Minnie's going to turn that board around. Oh, my. <laughs> guys, check it out. Hey, Minnie, 23 minutes, not five. Well done. Woo! <laughs> and I wasn't stalling. Okay. Wow. Look at this. You guys are awesome. Okay, I'm going to start here with Lusan, Switzerland. Mike M., brother, from Austin, Texas. Mike S. from Springfield, Woodcraft. Dirk from Dayton. That just sounds cool. Dirk from Dayton. I'm Dirk from Dayton. Woo! All right, Dez from England. Neil from Wheatfield, the Netherlands. That means that we usually have a two-pack from there. R Russ, how are you, Buddy from Chichesta, I believe that's in England. Rod from Morgan Hill, California. I think that says Hill. Zionsville, I know where that is. That's right next to here. Chris from Malta. How you doing, Chris? I'm working on Festool Live from Malta. I promise you, every week my bosses are getting mad at me, but I think we're coming. Larry from Sun City, West Arizona. I hope that's not near the, the forest fires. Stay safe, Larry. Utah. Steve from Bermuda. Blake. Woo! How are you? From Novato, California. Jorgen from Toulouse, Denmark. George from Naples. Tom and Kelly. Woo-hoo-hoo, Georgia. Robert and Zena from, guess where, guys? Delaware. Delaware. All right. Dawn from Albuquerque. Leo from Holland. Hey, hey, how you doing, Leo? Lawrence from Ireland. Or is that Lawrence Island? Lawrence, how are you? I'm coming to Ireland, Ireland in October. Yolarvi, Finland. Norman from Los Angeles. Rob from England. Michael from AB. I think that's Alboida. St. John, um, North B, NB. St. John, NB. What's that, man? New Brunswick. New Brunswick. How are you? Sully from Haverhill. What's up, Sully? Dan from New York, Ed from GA, oh, Georgia. Tom Patton from Pennsylvania. 
John from Vermont, Bozeman, Ontario. No, oh my God. <laughs> Bozeman, Montana. Spock, he threw me off, man. He's itching. God, Spock. <laughs> Aronzo, Ontario. Toledo, Ohio. Jurgen from the Netherlands. Romford, England. Matt from Cape Town. Ooh, this is so cool. Soren from Denmark. Chad from Washington. Jason from Michigan. Johnny O from Etco, New Jersey. I love that. Johnny O. Pulley up, Washington. Dale from Swadilintcoat, England. Jeff from Clarksburg, Maryland. Pete B from Taunton, Mass. Massachusetts. Cool. Uh, Stephen from Brights Cove, Ontario. Tom from Zanesville, Ohio. Joe from Pittsburgh, Batavia, Ohio. Luis from Lisbon, Portugal. Matt from Newark, Ohio. Kurt from Michigan. Rio Rancho, New Mexico. You're always there. Festool Owners Group. Woohoo! They're online. VTech from Poland. Oplu from Netherlands. Or Oplu, Netherlands. Southern California. Joe K from Bellevue, Nebraska. Port. Allen, Louisiana. Whew. Steve from Rochester, New York. Warped Woodsman from Oregon. You're there. Stockholm, Sweden. Caldwell, Ohio. Minnie, you are going a mile a minute. Look at all these people. Pensacola, Florida. Rustburg, Virginia. Pumper Bill, Australia. It's, got, it's like 12 midnight there. That is so cool. Thanks for staying up with us. Soren from Romania. Paolo Verdi, California, Imlay City, Michigan. Oronzo, Mississauga, Ontario. How are you, Oronzo? T Dog from Bellevue, Ontario. Craig and Tyler from Whites, Virginia. <coughs> Ch Chuckerwood from, Be from Bella Vista, Arkansas. Ne Nicholas from Belgium. Doug from Millersburg. Ohio, Portland, Oregon, Finley, Ohio, Michael from Slovakia. This is so cool. Garen from, hey, Garen, from Kyalami, South Africa. How are you? Cool. You're always there with us. Joe from Akron. Roll from Wolvega, the Netherlands. Roll, I hope you're doing good. Thanks for that message this week. Love you, brother. Johnny Rocket from Gales Creek, Oregon. Mulligan, oh, Malinga, Malinga Island, hey, Calgary, Alberta, they're going to kill me when I go to Island, that's not how you say it, Mike V from Louisville, Kentucky, Wallingford, Connecticut, Francie Maria, Mario, Brazil, Greeley, Colorado, Aka, Finland, David Pugh, how you doing, brother, I miss you, I haven't seen you in years, Awesome, man. Thanks for reaching out the other day. Eto Bicoke, Ontario. Mike from Boston, Mass. How are you, Mikey? Woo! How's the firehouse, man? Good to see you, fire station. Woo! Thank you. Boston Fire, baby. Springfield, Ohio. Ma Maida. Maida from Westphalen, right? Maida, Westphalen. Hi, Maida, Westphalen. Maida. Frank from Downers Grove. Tom Slick from North Carolina. Russia. No way. This is so cool. Why does it spell Iowa like? <laughs> Mini? Oh, you, oh, don't cross that off. That would have been awesome. Hey, I got a quick question for everybody out there. If you ever see a whiteboard with spell check, let us know. Okay. <laughs> Iowa, because Mini, I'm worse. Moldova. Minneapolis. Reynold from Shawinigan, Quebec. Yusuf. How are you? From Bahrain. Thank you for reaching out not too long ago. It's really cool. I follow you on Instagram. Sean from Dallas, the Netherlands. His name is Jay Wutan Dam. Did I get that? That's oh, right. <laughs> Raymond Maine, Cal, Claire. Anything else, man? Uh, Spacky, you got anything for us, brother? Boy, he's so cool. All right, everybody. As I always wrap this up, thank you for joining us. This is the best half hour for us every week. It has been for over two years. We celebrated two years on April 10th. Thank you so, so much for being there for us. 
because it is you as well. You've created one heck of a community online with us. We really appreciate it. Everybody's taking notice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One more. At, oh, Tadag, Ireland. Tadag, from Ireland. Tadag, how are you from Ireland? Kevin's, Kevin's son. Nice to see you there, Tadag. And I am really excited because maybe we can share a pint when I'm over there. Not that I drink Guinness. Woo! <laughs> All right. So this is a wrap. Happy Festool Friday, everybody. As Minnie always says, don't forget to mention we love you. And that's from all our Festool Live crew. Thank you for being there for us. This is a wrap on episode number 93. Woo, baby! Ha <laughs> ha! We good, babe? We wrap?